guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss monificent here um, I hope you guys are doing well as always I am super excited to be bringing you guys um, today's DIY it is my super simple very cheap inexpensive um, Dollar Tree DIY wall art or wall mirror art if you guys are interested in the process it took me to make these then keep on watching products that I use you guys everything is from the Dollar Tree except for the picture hanging hooks um, don't forget to check the description box down below I will list everything that I used First thing that you want to do is get you a microfiber cloth or a paper towel and just gently wipe away any dust or debris that may be that may have collected on your um, plastic plates and we're going to begin to place our bigger bubble um, jot stickers um, the 60 count ones you want to place them right on um, the edge the inside edge where it lifts up and I'm going to be doing two rows all the way around okay guys for the next step I am going to be taking my smaller bubble stickers by Jot and I'm going to be placing them right on these um, I don't know what you would call those the little ridges and the smaller jots bubble stickers or pop-up stickers are 117 count and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place um, the candle plate mirror in the center I'm just going to set it there so that I know where to stop lining my jewels at and for this one I am going to be using my hot glue gun because um, the surface that I'm going to be sticking them on it's not a flat surface um, for the bigger ones you don't have to use the hot glue gun it's your preference um, but for the smaller ones you definitely will have to do that and I'm just going to be placing those right down where I'm pointing at and I'm going to do this all the way around Once you are done um, with all of your pop-up stickers you can remove the mirror candle plate and then you're just going to take a soft cloth and you're going to rub away any debris and all of the hot glue um, hot glue strings because those will show up um, after you paint it so I'm just wiping away my hot glue um, strings and then I'm going to take um, all of my plates down and I'm going to spray paint the front and the back and I'm also going to take the rest of those um, 117 count smaller um, pop-up stickers and I'm going to be giving those a coat, as a coat of spray paint as well. So yeah, I'm just wiping away, making sure I get rid of all the hot glue strings. 
Okay guys, now everything is dry. Um, I did two coats on the top and one coat on the bottom. The good thing, I don't know if it was because of the plates or the paint, but it really only needed one good coat. So you can see I also spray painted the back because of the way it folds up. So when it's on the wall, um, you know, you'll still it'll, you know, it'll flow. You don't want to see um, the two colors. And um, what I didn't show you guys, what I'm sorry, I thought I was recording. So all I did was took one of those um, sawtooth um, hanger from the picture hanging kits and I took some of the E6000 and placed it on each end where you would actually paste place the nails and um, just glued it down and I have some painters tape to hold it down while it's drying okay now we can place our mirrors on I'm going to be taking my E6000 glue and I'm going to be gluing all around that top edge of that circle um, <laughs> I'm learning that I don't need to you know go too heavy because I don't want any to squeeze out on any of my um, stickers that I have placed there so you can see me doing that there of course you can see you don't have to concentrate on spray painting the inside of that little circle part because your mirror is going to cover that up so after I glue this going around I'm going to place my mirror on it and I'm going to press down Okay, now for the rest of those 117 count smaller pop-up stickers, I'm going to be lining them up with my hot glue right around the rim of my mirror candle plate. done with that you want to place um, a little bit of weight on top of this while the E6000 is drying just to help speed up the process by pressing putting a little pressure um, in between the two I'm just using a water bottle filled with water and that worked fine for me Okay, something else I wanted to share with you guys. If you look closely, you can see like a round circle indentation in the middle of each one of the um, parts of the tray. I don't know what that's about. So I decided just to go ahead and stick some more of my um, pop-up um, jot stickers. And then I also decided to place one right in the center of the mirror. And I really do like the way that came out. Okay, now that I am done, I'm taking my uh, soft cloth and I'm just wiping away any, you know, glue strings that I see. And then I'm going to take my window cleaner and I'm going to actually spray it on the cloth and not actually on the mirror because I don't want any splatter. I don't know what it what it may do to my paint job. And I'm going to wipe my mirror clean so that I can finish this up. This is it, you guys. This is the finished product. Pro yes, product. Um, easy, breezy. I'm telling you, this was super, super simple. Um, and it looks, and you can't even tell that it's actually a chip and dip tray. Um, it's very lightweight, so if you don't want to use nails, you can use command strips, and it will hold perfectly fine because it's really lightweight because remember it is just plastic and this is where I decided to place mines or where I am going to be placing mines when I do my changeover in the bedroom they will go right up over my headboard I absolutely love these um, if you guys do don't forget to give me a big thumbs up I thank you guys so much for watching if you are visiting I ask that you stay a while by hitting that loyal button down below don't forget to share me with your family and friends i will talk to you guys in my next video until then you guys have a great weekend and god bless